All right, welcome back, Nerd Down the Creek. Today we're talking squats. All right, so in today's workout, today being December 9th, 10th, I don't know, whatever, who cares? Um, we are moving, but then making static holds. Then moving, static holds, moving, static holds, and I put this little thing called four time in the workout. Now I want you to move quickly, get out of breath, and static hold. So basically what we're challenging is your ability to both hold a position and breathe. And one of the athletes asked, when should I breathe? And the answer is when you need to. But if I breathe, then I can't hold the static hold in the right position anymore. So then I can't breathe. So then I can't hold, but then I can't breathe. Welcome to challenging positions. So we can challenge positions by making you go faster. We can challenge positions by making you add weight to it. We can challenge positions by just tiring you the heck out and then making you hold that position. So this is where in CrossFit, the infinite variability of our functional fitness is what makes it so potent. So maybe I can get to full depth on an air squat, right? Here I am, nice, solid, stable position. I've got that depth all the way down. I've got full position. But the question is to get that full, sorry, full range of motion. To get that full range of motion, do I maintain that lumbar support? I did, wow. Well, I'm telling you, even though I'm talking, I am really squeezing through that belly. I'm, I'm kind of pushing against my belly button as I arch my back. And so let's say, that's, I gotta hold my breath to do that. Let's say I did 15 jumping jacks, 15 burpees, whatever, I'm nice and out of breath. Now, as I get down there, Oh, did you see that? That little dunk in my rear. Oh, yep. Because I'm out of breath and I'm tired and I can no longer maintain support here, I get that little round at the end. Well, how do I fix that? Well, we can take our hands, pull them up, create that arch in my back, that tension, and now I keep that midline support while getting that full range of motion. So, thrusters, holding overhead, getting those shoulders nice and tired, making me have to breathe in a slightly extended overhead position, and then front squats with a load, and then hold that bottom position. Now, very tired. Well, in the warm-up, what we did was we offered an opportunity to feel what that range of motion feels like with a ball and to block it while holding that front rack position. Now in the workout, I've got that target to touch my butt against. I've got that target to just hover right at, not sit on, because if you watch as I sit on that ball, what do I lose? Oh, I lose that lumbar support. I lose that midline tension. But if I hang right at that ball, then I've got to keep everything nice and tight and engaged. I have not picked up a, a single weight and I'm already a little bit tired. I'm kind of breathing heavy, now granted I'm talking, but it's starting to get kind of difficult for me to maintain that, that tension and that position. So the loads on today's workout, 75, 55. 75 pounds for the men, 55 pounds for the women. That's lightweight. It is so hard to maintain that load and your position and go fast. No ors in that sentence. And, 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 and. All of them. Which one do you want me to do? Yes, I want you to do all of them. I want you to move quickly, full range of motion, and I want you to load the movement and I want you to hold static positions when fatigued. And I want you to do it five rounds and I want you to do it as fast as possible. So if you pick up that PVC pipe and you can't get into these positions, well then guess what? You probably should not pick up the PVC pipe. And if you pick up that 15 pound bar and you can't maintain those positions, 
and that speed moving through at some sort of challenging space, oh, pace, then you probably should go back to the PVC pipe. And if we've got the PVC pipe and it's challenging, well then just do it with your hands. <laughs> That's why scaling is so effective at building strength even when we aren't using any weight, just holding this position for 30 seconds, when out of breath, you folks are gonna get a heck of a lot stronger. Static strength is strength. That's what we are challenging today. Challenge yourself, position, position at load or at speed, position with load at speed, when fatigued and see just how hard it is to keep moving and keep moving well. And if you lose that position, no more speed, no more weight. That's what we talk about when we talk about intensity. Position today trumps everything. And I guarantee you, you're gonna walk out of it going, oh, that was pretty hard. All right, have fun. See you on the creek.